A springing Republican congressman from Georgia and a leader on the Judiciary Committee has jurisdiction over the immigration issues. He's Doug Collins. Good to see you, Congressman. Hey, Liz. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for coming on. Okay, okay. there's all sorts of meetings break out, breaking out now and all day long on Capitol Hill about immigration reform. Are we going to get a deal? I think we will. I think what you saw yesterday was a, was a classic case of a president being a president. He was in a room, he was in command, and he said, in the, even the clip that you just ran, he recognizes the talent around the room. That is one thing that this president has done all of his life and his, his previous career and up until now. He recognizes that, that people can bring, when they're open and honest about how they want to move in good faith, they have ideas. And I think he's willing to take those ideas. He's willing to set down principles and say, here's where we, we were going to go and negotiate within that framework. And I think that's what we're seeing on the Hill right now. And okay, I do believe that we'll get to the the nuts and bolts of any deal. Again, yeah. you need nine Democrats to sign up for, and some conservative Republicans have to get on board too. I mean, we're talking about the border wall. Mm -hmm. My question to you is will everybody buy into this deal? Wait for it. The border wall, and then Bob Goodlatte's bill, where he says just, you know, get green cards for dreamers that they have to renew every three years. That's common sense. Will everybody mm -hmm. sign on to a deal like that? Also, upending and changing, overhauling chain migration, the family immigration visas that are in play. You know, we've had terrorists coming into the country via them. Go ahead. Right. Well, look, I think what you said is, is, the, is very true. The president outlined the border wall, and the border wall funding is something that we, we've got to have. Ending the, you know, the diversity lottery in that chain migration is something that the president has also talked about, and it's also things that, that Republicans have been talking about for a while as well. Now, Chairman Goodlatte is, is, has a bill out there that, that I voted for, the various pieces of this bill, that I believe gives you a, a process in which you know, we're moving forward in an area that we can find consensus. I mean, I think you're still going to have negotiations up to the, to the end, and some wanting a little well, bit Democrats more. Well, Democrats go for that. Well, Democrats go for green cards for dreamers. Well, I think you're gonna, they're going to have to find out where they're willing to. to what are you uh, hearing? Out. Are you hearing Democrats are saying, yeah, that sounds good? I'm hearing some, you know, off record. They're, they're trying to find that answer. I think the, the, the problem here is we've got to remember that we've been put in a situation by a president who chose not to work with Congress. President Obama just chose to unilaterally uh, do a deal in which he just chose to, to ignore the political realities and consequences of this. What we're having to do now is go back and fix this. And remember, this is a, a Republican president, a Republican Congress is looking to fix this issue. And I think it's going to take some time. I think we can get there. But there's a lot of issues with legal immigration, you know, from H-1B to guest worker to overstays yeah. of visas. Those are all, and I think the president made it very clear yesterday. Let's fix this issue, and yeah. then he's willing to take on the bigger well, we got, uh, role. We got midterms coming up pretty fast. We got Democrat <laughs> Senator Dianne Feinstein saying, basically, she's praising yesterday's bipartisan meeting. Roll tape. Well, I did you find yesterday's meeting at the White House and immigration helpful? Did you learn anything? I actually did find it helpful. Uh, what I found helpful was that the president was willing to be helpful, and uh, was willing to listen. Uh, to members and uh, uh, try to put something together which both sides could support, and I think that is helpful. What's your reaction? Well, I think she's, she's stating the obvious for the first time, and I think that's a good thing. When she actually acknowledges that what the president did yesterday was a positive step forward, I think you've got a bigger issue here. Many of the Democrats also, though, that especially in leadership, are trying to deal with this in a, in a combi combination way with the, our funding of our government, the funding of our defense troops. And I think we've got to make sure that, and like the president said, we're dealing with immigration on its own standing, and then we've got to fund the government, and we've got to move forward with the plans that we have. And I think those are the kind of, of ideas that she's acknowledging the very reality in the room. And just by watching that yesterday, you saw what was happening. And remember, negotiation is not getting everything I want. Negotiation is getting the, the best that I can get and moving forward with what is best for the country. And I believe the president has that, that uh, motivation at heart. Congressman Doug Collins, thank you so much for coming on. I really appreciate it. Liz, always good to see you. Take care.